Hey yo, salute to all my subscribers. Shout out to everybody else passing through. YouTube, what's good? So, I came through with another installment in my New Age Parent series. Gonna be real content heavy with this series. Um, I'm gonna start banging them out. Um, Cause I'm coming across a lot of things in my day to day. Um, I'm, I'm coming across new things as I interact with my kids and um, learning some of the things that they're learning from their friends and some of the things that they talk about with their friends. So I got a lot of content coming uh, in this series. But I stopped through right now. If you've seen the title, you know why I'm here to talk about discipline. Disciplining your children. This has been a topic of debate and a talking point for discussion forever since the beginning of time i don't think it'll ever go away um there's so many different parenting styles there's so many different um options when it comes to how to discipline your kids and 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 really i think you have to start with what discipline is what the purpose of it is supposed to be because people hear the term discipline and automatically they assume you're abusing your kids discipline is not just physical in nature all discipline really means for for you know to break it down in, in simple terms is implementing some form of correct, corrective action for something that someone did. So when you talk about discipline and raising kids, it is very, very, very close. If not at the top, it's definitely in the top three of things that you have to be strong in as a parent. You have to implement discipline for your children. If you don't discipline them, then you're running the risk of having kids that are so unruly that by the time they get into their adolescent and preteen years, it, it's it's almost going to be too late. And I see that with a lot of parents. They don't want to discipline their kids or be too hard on them. Or I see parents who do try to discipline their kids, but it's not really effective. And if you're not going to discipline your kids in a way that's effective, and by effective, I mean discipline is meant to strike fear. <clears throat> Whether you're dealing with a child or an adult, or even a pet that you're training. Discipline is meant to strike fear in the person who is committing whatever offense you want to correct. It's meant to strike fear in them so that when they think about or, in a, or is in a position to commit that offense, they think twice about it because they don't want that discipline to follow that action. And so when I interact with other parents and when I speak to people <clears throat> who is in my circle and I see other parents and how they move and how they discipline their kids, even when. So what are some of the forms of discipline that I see and hear about some of the uh, other parents talk about? Look, it's a running joke. It's been going on forever it's funny where comedians talk about it we talk about it with our friends and our family if you're in the black and hispanic community everybody knows for the most part we were growing up as kids we got fucked up if we needed to um and it's always been a running joke that you know the white kids they get put on timeout and you know they get talked to in these kind of like pacifying ways and these these patronizing ways and 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 really not effective kids laugh at that shit and this is where I'm going to get into the into the the meat and bones of what I came to to talk about particularly about discipline um it's a it's a very clear divide on one side you have parents who believe that physical discipline and hitting your kids is appropriate and even necessary on the other side, you have people who swear up and down that hitting your kids is the worst thing you could possibly do. Fuck those parents. I don't rock with them. I don't vibe with them. And typically, not all the time, because there's exceptions to everything, but more often than not, <clears throat> the parents I come across who, who, who are so against hitting their kids are usually the ones who have the most unruly, the most badass, fucked up kids on the face of this earth. It's just the way it is. I mean, some kids are naturally calm. Some kids are naturally a little rowdy. You know, every kid's different. You know, it is what it is. Um, but and I, I believe, I strongly believe, in the earlier stages, and those 
late infant to early toddler and late toddler years, I believe that physical discipline is definitely a tool that will serve you better if used and if not. Because by the time your kids get into their early adolescent years, and by adolescent years, I mean nine, 10, eight, nine, 10, 10 years old. That's adolescent years to me. Maybe even 11, but you're stretching it at 12. Now you're in the 11, 12, late, uh, late 11, 12, you're in your preteen years. By then it's too late. Um, you look crazy if you got a big ass 10 or 11 year old and you're still having to physically discipline them. It might be still warranted on occasion, depending on the personality of that kid and how how much they try to test certain boundaries. But for the most part, if you do it right, by the time your kid is 10, 11, 12, you should never really have to put your hands on them again. The, the purpose of discipline is to correct action and, and to create a pattern through the fear of doing wrong and there being consequences. It's not meant to be abused because a lot of people, when they hear physical discipline, they automatically think you're abusing your child. No, that's not the case. So, you know, often this is for the parents who just don't believe in it and they're totally against it. If you choose not to physically discipline your child because that's just not your parenting style, that's cool and I respect that. There are other ways that you can implement disciplines and that you can keep your children in line and doing and not doing the things that you want them to do and not to do. It might require a little more patience on your part. It might require a little more repetitive um, implementation of those actions. But, you know, sometimes you, you, you just have to show your kids different levels of discipline. You have to. And I'm not talking about every situation. You know, there's some situations where you can and should just talk to your kids. But then there are certain situations where they really do need to know the seriousness of that situation. And no better way to know how serious a situation is than to just give them a little tap every once in a while. You know, it's nothing really wrong with it. I don't see anything wrong with it. And I think, I think, I think every parent should have their own parenting style and it should be respected. I think the parents who have bad kids who choose not to discipline physically, let that be their choice. Just don't let your badass kids affect what I got going on over here with my kids. Don't let your badass kids run into my kids at the park and try to push them off a slide or some crazy reckless shit like that because then me and you got to fight. I don't play that shit. Um, don't let your kids be bad as fuck and you're, you're not into that kind of discipline. But you see me or over here, me disciplining mine and you looking at me crazy and you got something to say. Mind your business. Do what you do. Raise your kids how you want to raise yours. Just know that the reason why your little badass kid don't have no respect for you is because you don't know how to properly discipline them. And again, look, I'm not saying that discipline is something that needs to be physical all the time. It really doesn't need to be. And if you're doing it right, you really shouldn't have to do it past a certain age. You know, my 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 as my kids get older in age, they already know how I get down. They already know. So I, I don't even remember the last time. I even had to physically discipline my kids because I'm at a point with it right now when, you know, I, I tell them what time it is and they know what time it is. But it's because I laid that groundwork. You shouldn't be having to chase around and fight a big ass teenager. You, you somewhere along the line, you miss something. You're playing the game wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like people look at me as a parent. And for some of the people who think that I'm overly strict and I'm too much the disciplinarian, don't really understand or realize my process or the system that I have in place. Like I'm very playful with my children. You know, it's talked about all the time. Um, it comes up in conversation all the time with me and people in my circle. I'm very playful. Um, I give my kids a lot of freedom. I give them so much freedom that they get more freedom than most other kids in their age group. But because of that, they have a lot more responsibility as well. And you know, to, 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 to whom much is given, much is required. And so because I give my kids the freedom to grow, to learn, to explore their, not only their personal space, but everything around them and everything that they could possibly take in, um, I have to stay on top of them also a lot more, you know, because they are a, a little bit ahead of most of the kids that are in their age group when it comes to them being exposed to a lot of things. Um, and, you know, that's just the way it is. 
So I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, yo. You know, physical discipline. You know, I'm not. Don't don't abuse your kids. Don't be crazy and reckless to the point where you got child services knocking on your door. But don't be afraid if you're one of those parents who know you were raised with phys physical discipline as an implementation into your upbringing, and you feel that you want to implement that so that you can keep your kids in line. Don't be afraid, yo. I feel like I feel like if 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 a lot more parents did things when it comes to discipline at least similar to the way that our parents and grandparents did things back in the day you know you'd have a lot less bullying going on in schools a lot less kids killing themselves you'd have a lot less schools being shot up a lot less crazy ass disrespectful teenagers out here just acting ridiculous like they don't have no sense and like they don't have no upbringing because a lot of these kids aren't being raised right and and you know who am i to say that somebody else isn't doing their job as a parent but when I look out here and I see the way that my kids are respectful to other adults and I see how they carry themselves when they're out with me whether it be at family functions whether it be just out at the beach or out at the park or whatever or even in environments where they really do need to to bunker down and be respectful be quiet be seen not heard you know they know how to do that because that's been that's been set into them first you know I play hard with my kids but at the same time they need to know it's time and place. And I've definitely used physical discipline as a tool to, to kind of get them oriented to exactly how I want them to be in different uh, situations and, and, and environments. It works for me, it might not work for you. Um, if it does work for you, don't let nobody who who is so against it and they think it's wrong and they think you're a bad parent, don't let them discourage you, yo, because at the end of the day, you're gonna be the one who has a kid who grows up to be a productive member of society and they're gonna be the ones who, who are gonna be looking back wishing that they did some shit different. And again, it's not for everybody, you know what I'm saying? Like there are kids who grow up perfectly well balanced and have never been physically disciplined by their parents. But we're talking about kids being different. Every kid's not the same. You know, certain personalities, um, certain personality types, certain kids, you know, certain energy levels or whatever the case, you know, just need a different approach. You know what I mean? It just it is what it is. Gauge it how you want to gauge it. You know, as a parent, you should know your kids better than anybody. So you should know what works best for them. You know, if, if two out of my three or one out of my three kids didn't respond to physical discipline and they just kept doing the same fuck shit. After a while, you start to realize, oh, this is really not having any effect, so there's really no point to keep doing this. And that happens sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Even the best of us fall short sometimes. You know, you don't know everything. There's no manual. There never will be, you know what I'm saying? And even if there was, it would be flawed because every kid's different. You know, you, you anything that you don't get results of in real time, you're never going to know how you're doing until later on. You know, and that's really all we're doing. We're stabbing around in the dark trying to figure out the best course of action and the best way to raise our kids in a time when the world is so small and everything moves so fast we all just do the best we can y'all i don't pretend to know everything i just know what i know let me know what y'all think and i'll see you on the next one peace and love